to be submitted through what we call our bid system, which is a city, um, and, and we have a representative from our purchasing department, but the purchasing department receives it, uh, or use it, utilizes it to receive um, any type of bids, any type of applications. So they, and it, and it allows us to do the review of the application and the scoring of the application electronically. And that way it facilitates because years back, uh, committee members would receive all, you know, 20 or all X amount of applications in a big binder. So you would have to be, you know, coming to physical meetings and carrying a big binder and, you know, score sheets and, and all that paperwork. Um, and we were actually asking uh, applications, applicants to submit like 10 copies at one point. So um, this EBIT system allowed us to make it very, you know, electronic. Um, and it, it is a little, it is user friendly. And um, that's what we wanted to show you the presentation. And of course, uh, Ms. Uh, Margarita will, uh, it will, Ms. Margarita from Purchasing Department will be available. Also, you know, if you have, if you encounter any issues, you can call her, of course, 825, right? Uh, you can call her and she would be able to um, answer you or walk you through something if if that becomes the case once you start reviewing the applications and actually um, going in and scoring them. But we'll, 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 we'll play this eight minute video for the other two committee members that are on it. But of course, we'll share it with everyone so that y'all can, you know, review it, go back to it once you start doing the review process. Okay. Uh, so, I, I, Edgar, can are you able to play it? I don't think, can we hear it? I don't think we can hear it. Try, try Edgar starting it from the beginning and then unmuting yourself. Maybe that's what it's. looks like this one, then you have been invited to be an evaluator on a bid for an agency in your area. Can you to proceed with the evaluation, you will need to click on the link in the email. You will most likely have been taken to a login screen. If you are a system user, in other words, you have a regular IonWave of username and password, go ahead and log in like you normally would. If you are not a system user, you might be taken directly to a page that lets you set up your password. Go ahead and set up your password and proceed. If you've set up your password in the past, then you'll be taken to a login screen that looks very much like this one. You can go ahead and get logged in. Hello. Once you get logged in, Hello. you will see the evaluation that you have been asked to complete. At the top of the page, you will see instructions particular to this evaluation. And then further on down the screen, you may see terms that you have to agree to. If there are terms, you will need to enter your name, which acts as your digital signature, check the box, and click Agree and Continue to proceed. Now that you've agreed to the terms, you'll be able to click on the Scoring tab. The scoring tab will take you to a list of suppliers that are being evaluated on this particular evaluation. They will be arranged in alphabetical order. Let's go ahead and look at the first company, Alvin Supply. Once you click on the supplier's name, you will be taken to a document along the left side the documents that the buyer has been available to you. And in the middle is the window where you will view the file. Let's go ahead and look at our first file together. Many files will open directly in this window, 
Although some file types may require you to download and open them in separate software. If you would like to see this document in full screen, you can click X on the documents tab. Review the document and make note of anything that you would like to include in the evaluation. Along the toolbar of this document reader are additional options. You can go full screen, which gives you the ability to see um, more of this document on your page. You can click escape to get out of that view. You'll have the ability to print files or download files, as well as zoom uh, so that you can read as comfortably as possible. If you would like to see the document toolbar again, simply click on the word documents on the far left side. Once you have reviewed the appropriate files and you are ready to make your evaluation decisions, click on criteria scores in the toolbar. So you'll see that there are three criteria which we will need to evaluate. First one, references results. It looks like this is a drop down box. So we will need to open the list and choose the score that this particular supplier has received. We will have a place to enter a note, although in this case it is not required. If it was required, we would see a red asterisk next to the note. Let's go ahead and click save to proceed on with this evaluation. This particular criteria allows us to enter in our own score based on our understanding. So we have some instructions down here. Presentation demonstrated a solution that would meet and or exceed our requirements. Uh, so you've sat through a presentation and you've made some notes and maybe this particular supplier is going to receive 27 out of 30. And in this case, the note is required. So let's, let's enter in a note. Once you have typed your note, Click save to proceed. We have one last criteria to enter. Meet technical needs. Again, we will need to enter our score and a note. Once we have completed that, we can click save. If I click close, I will be taken back to this document screen. If I click done, I'm going to be taken all the way out to the front page of this evaluation. So I can click close to review the documents again. Or done to be taken back to this main page. I also could have clicked return to return to the list of suppliers. Go ahead and carry on with the rest of the evaluation. And once you have completed the evaluation, you will be able to click on the submit button. We have one supplier left. Let's go ahead and complete this one together. As before, I'm going to click on their name. And I can review the documents and then click criteria scores to give them a, a score. I will, as before, go through and choose my options. Now, you might remember that you gave one supplier a certain score and you want to make sure that this supplier is adequately ranked compared to that other one, whether it be lesser or better. To review what you scored the other suppliers, you can click this My Supplier Scores button. This will allow you to see the score as well as the first part of the comment that you gave for these suppliers. If you hover your mouse over any comment that can't be shown completely, Tucson store at 29, followed closely behind by Alvin store. Maybe this particular company definitely wasn't the best, but they weren't as bad as our third, third place supplier, Bay County store. So we'll give them a 25. That same option is available on all other criteria. And then click save and done to return to our list of suppliers. And I'm gonna click submit to complete my evaluation. You can unsubmit 
and change your scores, you'll just need to remember to submit when you're finished. While you are in this evaluation tool, you may want to click on the Messages tab to see any messages that you have received from the buyers, or the Home tab to re-look at the instructions or terms, including printing the terms as needed. I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the IonWave support team at support at ionwave.net. That is the end of the video in regards to the evaluation system that we're going to be using. I would ask if this is Mr. Reckleimer, if you would please send it to me because I could, it was sound, it sounded like somebody speaking underwater. I couldn't understand any of it. Of course, we can definitely send it to the whole committee uh, members, uh, especially to the new ones, so they can go ahead and get familiarized with the EBIT system. And of course, uh, we didn't, we didn't meet quorum. I don't know, Tina, if we're going to wait or. So now it seems that we lost. Mr. Reyes, um, it might have been a drop call or something. So it's just uh, Mr. Beckenhammer, it's just yourself and uh, Miss. I don't know if Theis is Miss Mr. Theis or Miss Theis. But so so there's only two. Okay, okay, Angie Angie Theis. Okay, um, so it's just two people right now on the on on the committee. I mean, it's tw it's twenty five minutes past twelve. Um, I don't know if you all want to, um, you know, you know, call it a, a no quorum meeting. What we can do is, of course, we'll send you, we're going to send all the uh, committee members the information on this uh, EBIT system. You'll, they'll also, you'll also be receiving an email from our purchasing department on how to log in and all, and all that information. Uh, probably in the next maybe day or so, she's, um, they're just finalizing it. And then um, you can start looking at it. Of course, you could always call our office for any questions you have. And um, we were scheduled. We are scheduled for our next meeting. Was going to be for May 12th. Um, I could definitely pull um, the committee and see if we can even have a meeting next week to make up for this one. So that way, you know, you all can have uh, an area to discuss. Um, anything and I know there was going to be some new items that we were going to present to the committee and we did invite some um the members of El Metro uh, Transit Center because they had a, a request for the committee also but um of course we cannot discuss any of that so we would have to have another meeting uh we can definitely push this these items to the May 12 or we can ask to see if, if anybody can do a, a, a sooner meeting This is my first meeting, so I'll leave that up to you because I'm not sure um, if it's going to be too much for the, the following meeting that's scheduled for May 12th. So I'll, I'll leave that up to you all. Okay, and what we'll do is. Yeah. Sorry? No, no, go ahead. No, no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. All I was going to say was yes. Let's call it a let's call it a no quorum meeting, and and I would definitely suggest you do what you uh, or agree with what you suggested, which is. Uh, poll the members and see if they'll agree to another meeting before the one on the May 12th so we can make up for this one. Perfect. Okay, maybe, we'll do maybe that. Maybe even later, to, maybe even, the, is there a rule that says how early you can, in other words, can you even poll them to see if they'll be willing to meet this afternoon sometime? We, we wouldn't be able to do this. It's it's a 72-hour posting uh, deadline that we have, so we uh, would have to, yes, it's a public want. meeting, 72 hours. So the earliest that we could possibly get a quorum would be for Monday. So what I can do is I can do options uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and see uh, see what, what works best. How does that sound? Uh, I defer to you on that. Let's just do it as soon as possible. Okay. See who can get on. And that's perfect. Thank you, thank you very much for your all's time. Perfect. No, and thank you for, for your time. And, and of course, I apologize uh, for not being able to get quorum but we will definitely uh, stress it to all the other committee members. Okay, well, I'll expect that harmonica tune next time. <laughs> well, we'll see what we can do. <laughs>
All right. Thank, Thank you all. Have a great Thank day. You. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a great day.